What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another video where today we're talking about something very controversial. The Ferrari SUV is coming. That's right, the new Ferrari SUV Puro Sangue is ready. The preview will be coming by the end of this year, 2019, and the reveals to the public will be coming in Geneva 2020 and on the road for the summer. Now, the first thing you guys are probably thinking is, no way is Ferrari making an SUV. No way are they feeding into the hype of the SUV market trend. No way are they selling out. Well, everybody has to adjust. Nobody's above the rules in the market. And really, you evolve or you die in any kind of market. Now, the Marinello house of the 812 Spider and its first SUV are ready. So this Ferrari SUV or FUV is called the Puta Sangue, which translates in English to thoroughbred. Now this will enter Ferrari in the world of SUVs. Now we're we talking about an FUV 4x4 with a V8 plug-in hybrid. When a vehicle is a Ferrari, there is none like anyone in sportsmanship and charm. It will be very strange to the peers for an SUV or just an FUV for those who make racing cars. Two Ferrari models will be unveiled as early as September. If one is almost certainly the A12 Spider, which is the V12 6.5 with 800 horsepower, the second model that may be revealed, many think is the Preta Sangue. Now, even if these certainties about Ferrari's new SUV are not disclosed, at least to the people on social media, the hotness and rendered images refer to as having four seats with front engine V8 bi-turbo plug-in hybrid and over 650 horsepower. The traction also in the front of it will supply an electric unit. Now imagine a Ferrari driving experience on an SUV. Is that possible? Well, today it seems so, at least when the experience is not only for the savvy drivers of pure Ferraris produced up until the 80s and 90s, but it is also for those who managed to get on and stay relaxed. Now, in an ideal world for most, Ferrari would have built only a two-seater supercar, but today, Customers from former emerging countries want to use large, eye-catching, and comfortable cars that are easy to drive, etc. Now, to use on a track, eh, in addition to Ferrari, but be used every day, that's probably the idea supercar, super SUV, shall I say. Now, if Ferrari doesn't do it, the customer turns elsewhere. See the success of the Urus. Ferrari and a spa that must respond to investors with numbers, therefore widening the range towards the SUV, the electric, or whatever the future tends to go the way of. So do as others if they want to survive, like Bentley with the Mentega, like Lamborghini with the Urus, like Rolls-Royce with the Cullinan. That's my final thoughts on this, but what are yours? Do you agree with Ferrari making an SUV or do you feel like they are selling out or swaying away from what the Ferrari brand represents by bending its knee to the market that is currently in place? Let me know you guys' thoughts down in the comments below because this could get a little nasty. Now, with that said, if you guys enjoyed the information today, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Giving it a like helps to get up in the rankings. More people can see this video and more people can have a discussion about the Ferrari SUV. Now, with that said, also check the links down below. If you want to do a one-time donation through PayPal, you can donate a dollar or two to the channel by following the link. If you want to do a Patreon subscription donation, you can do that as well. I do have Ron's Rise merch in that link down there too. Check that out. Make sure you support the channel by buying a t-shirt, a sticker, coffee mug, pillow, whatever you guys are thinking. Also, you can check out my social media, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, see what I'm posting on there next, see what I'm doing on the Ron's Rise channel, and make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell so you can get more Ron's Rise videos straight to your inbox. With that said, guys, you be blessed, be safe. We'll see you down in the comments below. Peace.